Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and we are back with the Christmas event 2020 and things have changed considerably this year. Looks like it involves something dealing with the Krampus fishes, whatever that is. And we are going to be doing this with Fishing Planet Classic. We might be doing a little bit of it with the Fisherman Fishing Planet as well, but we're going to start at least here and see what we can get. How far we can get anyway. Let's see. Looks like the starting mission is called, well, Merry Christmas. This is the elderly Krampus fishes have stolen Santa's attributes, glasses, beard, and hat, and set off wrecking havoc in nearby waters. You need to locate the old troublemakers, capture them, and return things they've stolen. You can find them by questioning their minions who have decided to follow them and make mischief around. Because of their innate ability to lie, you'll have to catch a score of them. Get your rods ready. So it looks like for that, your rewards are 2020 cash. And it looks like an angel topper, a token, gingerbread cookies, a mega cookie ground bait, and whatever this pure snow. I think it's a ground bait as well. So it says find the Christmas stocking at Lone Star. Leslie Vila, Emerald, or other ponds and take your gift. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to go to Lone Star since that's the easiest and most reasonable to get to. We'll go ahead and travel there. I don't know if there's any special gear we have to have, but it didn't say. So I can only assume that we're good to go. Now the camp Krampus Catcher Pack is one of those um, DLCs that you can purchase. They'll give you a different gear that's based around Christmas. I don't think we necessarily need that. A lot of these are to areas that we already have subscriptions to or licenses to or whatever does have a lot of good gear though I will say that let's see it depends on I'm trying to see if it's got a particular net or whatever ooh yeah not yeah not a bad one fishport s plus keep net but it's got those fireworks and those are extremely useful. I have a feeling that we're going to end up needing those. It's always been needed for these games. But we're going to go ahead and close that for now. See if we can't make this happen on our own. Ginger Melody. Time has come for presents and treats and during the Christmas spirit with this excellent Ginger Melody kit. This includes ginger baits as well as a whole bunch of tokens for Janice Jukebox. On hearing this music, fish will keep swimming up as if enchanted. Okay. Well, that's new. Jukebox, huh? Interesting. Alright, let's come in here and see what's going on. So, obviously, things are happening. We are tracking that, so shouldn't have an issue. Let's try coming in here because usually if there's anything going on, it's going to be right there at the very first peg. Yeah, the last few times I've done the Christmas one, I've not been able to complete them either. Halloween one was a definite exception. Okay, there's our jukebox that they were... So this enchants the fish to bite, huh? <laughs> That's interesting. Tell you what, let me get a picture of that. That's kind of cool. Let's see if there's anything else here of interest. Looks like there's some kind of Santa's bag right here. Equip Santa's headlamp and wait until darkness. Hmm. Well, how do I do that?
Well, let me go to my inventory here. Maybe you have to come in here. I've already got a headlamp. Maybe you have to come here at night. Find the Christmas stocking in Lone Star. Let's see Vila, Emerald, and other pawns and take your gift. The Christmas stocking, huh? Where in the world would that be? Over here at the building, maybe? There's a present. Don't open till Christmas. Of course. Why not? Well, I can't go up there. There's nothing on the tree. Let's just take a look around, guys. There we go. Ginger cookies. The item is placed in your backpack. Alright. The Operation Save Christmas is on. Good luck with catching minions and their Krampus bosses. Remember, Santa counts on you. Okay. Angel Topper. It's in our backpack. A token. Our backpack. The cookie ground bait. Interrogate Krampus Eel Minions. You can lo locate the clumsy Krampus Eel by questioning his foolish Gobi Minions, often seen at Lesney Vila, Tiber, Sander Bagasy, and other locations. Keep catching them until you find out where their boss is. To attract these fish, start Santa's jukeboxes or feed them with Mega Cookie Ground Bait, casting it with your hand. Foolish Gobies are especially fond of Turdili, and won't say no to some ginger cookies. What's a turdili? Must be some kind of fancy sender bagacy. So I can get a pass there. That'd be great. Well, they're making it a little bit easier to get around. That makes a you know, big, big difference here. So we need to catch a red foolish goby, a blue foolish goby, and a green foolish goby. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of them. Oh god. Well, how many of those ginger cookies do I have? Let me see here. 24? That's not very many. Hope I get more of them. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and head back to the map here. Doesn't cost us anything to come here, so... Yeah, those bags must be for later missions. Alright. So I need to head to Lesni Vila. Fishery. Alright, looks like we're going into the peak, which is good. Let's start over here. Alright. Might want to check around. Yep, there's a stocking there. Cookies with milk. Reward. Okay, that could be that could be uh, helpful. We're gonna need to check around here. I got to find out if there's anything else we need. There's the jukebox, so we need to be over here. There's a present. Part says, "Do not open till Christmas." Okay. That's Santa's headlamp. Yeah, I think that's a later mission. Yeah, this is kind of a small fishery, so I'm going to just kind of skirt around here, guys. Take a look, see if I can find anything else that I need to pick up. 
All right, guys, I have walked all the way around the lake and have found nothing unusual. So I think now we just need to kind of focus on catching these foolish gobies or whatever they're called. Well, I think probably the best way to handle that would be most likely bottom fishing. We'll see what we have here available to us. Let's see. I'm sure these hooks are probably too big for these guys. I'm gonna go leave at least a two. And supposedly they go for these ginger cookies. I don't know what the milking. Okay, dense crappie. Bandit Araku, Foolish Gobi. Okay, so these also will catch him. So we, we should have enough to at least get a good start. Let's try the milk with cookies here. I have no idea where these guys are going to be. If they're going to be close, if it really matters. Alright, we'll get that one placed. Let's see, we're going to have to set this one up too. I might put the little bit smaller hook on this one just to make sure that we catch these guys. Let's use a ginger cookie. Mix it up a little bit. Oh, okay. Looks like we got a bite. Let's see if we got one of those little guys. Nope, got a silver bream. And we probably have to cast those out and do something with that music box or whatever. Throw the ginger cookie out there. Those on there, smaller hook. Let's go with go with the number two. And you're supposed to be able to use something with the ground bait. Now, I don't. Let me see here. Ground baits here. Don't even know how to use this, honestly. Okay, we put the component there. Add it. Maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure how you use it, honestly. Oh, I bet I know how. Yep, that's how it's done. You put it in here. Now, I've never used this before. So you mix it in here. And then put it together. And I guess we can now throw it in there. Now, how do we throw it? Just like that. You are getting a bite. Let's see if we can do something with this jukebox. Wait a minute. Well, let's try it. There we go.
There we go. A green foolish goby. <laughs> Red dunce crappie. <laughs> the hell? That's crazy. That's a strange looking little fish with glasses. <laughs> well, they're not going to be as hard to catch as I thought. A green bandit Araku. He's got a mustache and a beard. <laughs> That's funny. It's a little bit loud. Yeah, I think we're going to do something about that music. <laughs> well, it's just as loud as it's going to be. Nothing I can do about it. <laughs> go another her personal record Blue Bandit Eriku. Red Foolish Gobi. Well, the music's at an end. So I'm sure they're going to drop off now. Well, they were biting pretty heavily when that music was playing. Yeah, it looks like the gobies are the only ones that I need to catch. The others, I really couldn't do anything with. There, Green Foolish Gobi. Seriously, I have to catch that many of them, huh? Wow. That's not going to be easy, guys. See, this is where things get a little bit tough. The sheer number of them. <laughs> I don't even know if I can possibly catch that many, and I don't even have enough bait. <coughs> well, let me try... Number four hook on here. Oh. Yeah, these these are never gonna last very long.
I think I got one of the red ones this time. No, I actually have a Prussian carp. Yeah, you almost have to play that thing to get catching any of the fish here. I don't know how many of those tokens that I got. None. Ugh, another Prussian carp. This might become a necessity. I don't know yet, guys. I am going to check on it. I'll let you know and see if I, how far I can get without doing that. But it's not looking good. <laughs> it's not looking good at all. Unless you travel around and get those bait coins. Those bait coins are what you really need to catch these little guys. So if the music's not running, you're not catching them. I think I caught one. Well, anyway, guys, that's our first look at the first mission. I'm going to try a few things and see if I can't increase my odds. But until the next episode, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.